The plastic packaging designed for sous vide cooking acts as a skin that prevents vapors from getting in or out during storage and cooking. And excluding air from packaged food helps preserve the fresh appearance of your ingredients. For example, when fruits and vegetables are bruised, punctured, cut, or otherwise abused, a cascading series of enzymatic reactions occur in the damaged tissue to protect the plant from microbial invaders. You can think of this as part of the plant's immune system. These reactions are also what cause fruits and vegetables to turn brown. And while the protective phenolic pigments are harmless to us, their appearance is not very appetizing. Cooks often use a squeeze of lemon juice to stall this discoloration, but this approach only slows rather than stops so-called enzymatic browning. It also adds a distinct acidic bite to the taste of the food that isn't always welcome. Quickly removing any surrounding oxygen with vacuum packing is a much better way to preserve the fresh appearance of fruits like apples or bananas and vegetables like potatoes or artichokes, all of which are prone to turning brown when peeled and cut. And what about the animal kingdom? Like plant foods, meats and seafood can also discolor, but for an entirely different reason than plant foods. The red hue of meats like beef or lamb and seafood like tuna comes from the oxygen binding molecule called myoglobin that is found within every muscle cell. When this molecule captures oxygen, it has a vivid red color, and when oxygen is absent, it turns darker. But oxygen can be insidious. Over time, it will oxidize myoglobin, turning it from ruby red to a permanent grayish brown. Many people believe this is a visible sign that the flesh isn't fresh, but that isn't necessarily true. This discoloration can happen quickly if meats and seafood are packaged in a way that gets rid of most, but not all of the oxygen. For this reason, wrapping meat or seafood in paper or plastic wrap is far from the best way to preserve their fresh appearance. Vacuum packing does a much better job. The near total absence of oxygen will cause red meats and seafood to turn dark, but when you reopen the bag, the flesh will quickly bloom vibrant red as oxygen refreshes the surface. Commercial producers sometimes enhance this effect with carbon monoxide, which also binds to myoglobin. Excluding oxygen does more than preserve appearances, though. It also keeps meats and seafood tasting and smelling fresh for longer by slowing oxidation. And although the flavor of some meats, and even the occasional fish, can benefit from some oxidation with aging, most don't. One final benefit of vacuum packing meats and seafood is that it's the best way to prevent the slightly rancid aroma that meats and seafood can acquire when reheated as leftovers. The underlying cause of this problem is again related to oxidation. And the only defense is to keep oxygen away from the food after it's been cooked the first time. Cooking, storing, and reheating meats and seafood in vacuum packaging will keep them fresh and delicious.